yo what's good everyone welcome back to the channel and today i will be showing you on how to make three different modded outfits all at one single time but if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification as well now let's get straight into the video the only requirement for this glitch to work is you will be needing a male character and your male character should be on slot number one this glitch would delete every single outfit on your outfit section but the cool thing about this is is we will be making three try hard modded outfits all at one time you heard that correctly right now make your way over to any clothing store on the map you will need to make your way over to the funk counter inside of the clothing store and once you're there you will need to go over to the saved outfits and delete every single saved outfit. Now once you've done that, all you want to do is open up your pause menu, go over to online. Now go over to swap character and accept the alert once it does pop up. Now it should be loading you into a small room like this. Now this part's very important as well. Once you do load into the small room, Move over to the second slot, and if you do not have a female character, I will be showing you on how to make a female character on your second slot. So move over to the second slot. Now select the second slot character and press edit. Now you should be loading into a different room like this. Now if you do have a male character on the second slot, just make it into a female character. Now, once you're done, make it as a female character. Accept the alert. Now, it should be saying something about an online tutorial. Just basically, all you want to do is skip it. Now, it should be loading you into a random GTA Online session. And just basically go passive mode so no one could kill you. Now, once you do load into the session, make your way over to the clothing store over to the accessories and remove any sort of accessories on your female character then go over to the gloves and once you're on gloves you will need to purchase the black woolen gloves these right here and head over to the shoe section afterwards you will need to find the category called boots and purchase the chocolate slack boots these right here then make your way over to the pants section afterwards. And once you're there guys, you will need to go over to the sports pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants. These right here. Now head over to the top section afterwards. Once you're at the top section, go over to the tank tops and purchase the two-tone tank. This one right here. Now back out once, continue to stay at the top section, go over to the leather jackets, and make sure you purchase the blue JC jacket, this one right here. Make sure it is the blue JC jacket, then head over to the fun counter like I did. Now this part's very important, make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number two okay so make sure you don't say this as an alpha slot two you will need to make sure you name it on slot two name it trash vest one so name it trash vest one then afterwards head over to the accessories and once you're there go over to the gloves and purchase the light woolen armor so purchase the light woolen armor now head over to the top section afterwards. And once you're there, go over to the tuck t-shirt section and purchase the black classic. This one right here. Now back out once, you will need to go over to the category called denim jackets. And you will need to purchase the jacket called distress denim jacket. It should be number 9 out of 17, Distressed Denim Jacket. 
Then afterwards, head over to the front counter. Once again, this part's very important. Save this as an outfit on slot number three and name it Trash Vest 2, okay? So afterwards, head over to the top section once again. And once you're there, you will need to go over to the to the party tank tops and purchase the leopard loose tank. It should be the first one. Now afterwards, back out once, continue to stay at the top section, go to the tactical jackets and purchase the khaki tactical blossom. Then head over to the fun counter once again. And once you're there, you will need to save this as an outfit on slot number four now make sure you name slot number four on trash vest two make sure you name it on trash vest two on slot four then afterwards make your way over to the shoe section afterwards go to the shoe section go to the high heel boots and purchase the deluxe midnight combat it should be these right here now head over to the pants section afterwards, go to the jeans, and purchase the black cropped jeans. Purchase these right here. Now head over to the top section afterwards. And once you're there, you will need to find the category called sports tops. Once you're on sports tops, you will need to purchase the gray racer bag. It is called the gray racer back. This one right here. Now, all you want to do is back out once and just basically go over to the jacket and remove the jacket off your female character. Make sure you do that, okay? Then afterwards, you will need to make your way over to the front counter. Go over to outfit five and make sure you save this as an outfit on slot five and name it checkerboard one. Now name it checkerboard one, then head over to the top section afterwards. Go over to the top section, go to the work jackets and purchase the peach camel clothes field. It should be this one right here. Now afterwards, back out once, you will need to find the category called tuck t-shirts. Once you find tuck t-shirts, you will need to purchase the blue digital t-shirt. This one right here. Now, back out completely. Go over to the front counter once again. Then go over to the outfit six and save this as an outfit underneath slot six and name it checkerboard number two. Now, make your way over to the pants section afterwards. And once you're there, you will need to go over to the utility pants, scroll all the way down, and purchase the black battle pants. These right here, okay? Now, afterwards, head over to the top section. And once you're there, you will need to find the category called bikinis. Scroll all the way down and purchase the black bikini. Once you purchase the black bikini, back out once. Once again, find the section called biker jackets. And once you're on biker jackets, purchase the fitted leather jacket. Purchase this one. Now make your way over to the accessories. Go over to the earrings and purchase the gold hoop earrings. These right here. Now afterwards, head over to the front counter. And once you're there at the front counter, make sure you done save this as an outfit on slot number seven. Now, all you want to do is name this as an outfit on slot number seven underneath armor one. Then afterwards, head over to the shoe section. And once you're there, go over to the high heel boots. Then you will need to purchase the deluxe midnight combat. These right here. Now go over to the pants section. And once you're there, go over to the sports pants. 
and purchased these spotted muscle pants. These right here. Now head over to the top section afterwards. And once you're at the top section, go over to the sport jackets and purchase the sea green puffer jacket. Purchase this one right here. Now back out once, continue to stay at the top section. Go over to the section called busters. And you will need to purchase the teal lace buster. Then afterwards, head over to the front counter once again. And once you're at the front counter, you will need to make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number 8 underneath as armor 2. You will need to make sure you name it on armor 2 on slot number 8. Now go over to the pants section afterwards. Go over to the jeans. Once you're on jeans, you will need to purchase the black cropped jeans. They are called the black cropped. These right here. Now make your way over to the top section afterwards. And once you're there, you will need to go over to the leather bomber jackets and purchase the gold SN leather open. Purchase this one right here. Now go over to the interaction menu. Go over to the style. Go over to jackets and make sure you close it up like I did. Then afterwards, go over to the glasses. And once you're there, go over to the casual glasses and purchase the copper marbles, these right here. Then afterwards, head over to the hat section. And once you're there, you will need to go over to the canvas hats and purchase the gray plaid canvas hat, this one right here. Then Make your way over to the accessories afterwards. Once you're on the accessories, go over to the earrings and make sure you remove the earrings off your female character. Then head over to the front counter like I did. And make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number 9. And make sure you put it on galaxy or suit. It doesn't matter which one you name it on. Make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number 9 though. Now afterwards, head over to the top section, go over to the work jackets, and purchase the peach camel clothes field, this one right here. Now back out once, you will need to go over to the category called tuck t-shirts. And once you're on tuck t-shirts, once again, purchase the blue digital t-shirt. Purchase this one right here. Now head over to the accessories afterwards. Go over to the earrings and make sure you remove the earrings as well. Then head over to the front counter for the last time. Then save this as an outfit on slot number 10 and name it Galaxy 2 or Suit 2. It doesn't matter. Once you're done that, back out from the outfit section. And make sure you pull up your interaction menu and choose the option to kill yourself. Now this forces the game to save. Once you do kill yourself inside of the clothing store, you should be loading outside of the clothing store. That's fine. All you want to do is open up your pause menu, go over to online, and choose the section called creator. And launch creator. Accept the alert. Now, you should be loading into a job menu like this. Once you do load into the first job menu like this, all you want to do is create a race. So create a race, then create a land race afterwards. Once you create a land race, all you want to do is load into the second job menu, go over to race details, put underneath the title anything put the description on anything as well and go over to the photo and just basically take a random photo doesn't matter which one you do now back out once go over to the maximum payers now this part's very important make sure you put this on three now put the route type from point to point make sure you do that as well 
and go over to the default class which are the vehicles and just put it on super so you can finish the race faster now once you've done that all you want to do is open up your pause menu go over to the map go over to the lsia scroll all the way down and all you want to do is warp over there to the lsia now once you do spawn in after warping over there you should be spawning in like this now go over to placements place a trigger just randomly now back out once go over to lobby camera take a random lobby camera back out once afterwards go over to checkpoints once again and basically continue to place the checkpoints as you can see at the bottom right every time you place a checkpoint it should continue to grow on the race length make sure you put it above one mile now once it is above one mile all you want to do is back out twice and test the race. Once you do test the race, you should be loading into a little race mission like this. All you want to do is collect every single checkpoint and completely finish the race. Once you do finish the race, you will be loading into a little black screen like this. Now, once a alert pops up like this, accept the alert one time now open up your pause menu go over to online now go over to choose character and accept the alert once again and you should be loading into a small room like this as well then move over to the second slot and that should be your female character and make sure you delete your second slot that should be your female character now once you do delete it, move over to the left side which should be your main character and basically just push B and it should be loading you into a regular GTA 5 story mode. Once you do load into story mode, all you want to do is load back into an invite only session only because you load in faster. After you do load into a regular invite only session, you will need to make your way over to the front counter like I did. Now once you're at the front counter, make sure you have the outfit you do want to save on right now. And save it on slot number 20. Then back out once. Go over to the Gorka suits. And purchase the orange Gorka suit. This one right here. Now back out completely. Open up your pause menu. Go over to online. Go over to jobs, go over to play jobs, go over to Rockstar Created, go over to Rockstar Created, go to the versus and start up the job called Crooked Cop, accept the alert. Now you should be loading into a job menu like this. Now go over to the clothing and make sure you put it on player owned and invite at least one person to help you out. And once they do join, launch the mission then you should be loading into a second job menu like this. Go over to owned outfits and click one to the right and make sure you ready up and the person that is helping you ready is up as well. Now you should be loading into the job menu like this. Now open up your interaction menu, go over to style, go over to gear and all you want to do is equip a earpiece on through your interaction menu like I did and still any of these vehicles that are near you now head over to the clothing store i want you there get out of the vehicle and walk in front of the clothing store now make sure you have the earpiece on if you do not have it on just equip it on if you have it on that's fine now pull up your phone go over to jobs list and you must quit the jobs through the jobs list like i did now it should be loading you into the last session you're in, that's fine. Now make your way back inside of the clothing store. Go over to the accessories, go over to gloves and choose the race suit gloves and you should see invisible arms appear like this. This part is very important. Make sure you delete saved outfit slot number two right here. So go over to saved outfits and delete the number two slaved 
outfit, okay? So delete the saved outfit on number two. Now open up your pause menu and go over to jobs, go over to play jobs, go over to Rockstar Created, go over to Versus, and basically start up the job called Crooked Cop once again and invite at least one person to help you out. And once they do join, go over to clothing, make sure you put it on player owned once again and launch the mission. And once you do launch the mission, you'll be loading into the second job menu like this. This part is very, very important as well. Once you do load into the second job menu like this, go over to the owned outfits and make sure you click two to the right and ready up and make sure that the person that is helping you readies up as well. Now, once you do load into the job menu like this, just basically equip a earpiece on like we did the first time through your interaction menu. Then just basically get in any of these vehicles that are near you. Then head over to the clothing store once again. And once you're there, you will need to exit the vehicle and make sure the earpiece is on once again. If it is not on, just equip it on. And if it is on, get in front of the clothing store, pull up your phone, and you must go over to jobs list and you must quit the jobs to the jobs list like I did. Now, once you do spawn into the last session you're in, you will need to make your way over to the front counter like I did. And once you're inside of the clothing store, go over to the front counter. And once you're on the front counter, this part's very, very important. Save this as an outfit on slot number 19. Then afterwards, you will need to delete the saved outfits called Trash Vest 1 and Trash Vest 2. Then afterwards, once you've done that, back out once, continue to stay at the front counter. And once you're at the front counter, go over to the biker suits and purchase the black biker suit, okay? Then back out from the front counter, open up your pause menu, Go over to online, go over to jobs, go over to play jobs, go over to Rockstar Created, go over to Versus, and once again, start up the job called Crooked Cop. Now, once you do accept the alert, basically, once you do load into the job menu, just go over to the clothing and make sure you put it on player owned once again. Now, invite a friend or a stranger, at least one person to help you out. And once they do join and launch the mission, once they do join, this part's very, very important as well. Once again, once you do load into the job menu like this, go over to the owned outfits and make sure you click two to the right. Now ready up and tell the person that is helping you readies up as well. Now, once you do load into the mission, once again, all you want to do is equip a earpiece once again through your interaction menu like I did. Then get in any of these street vehicles and head over to the clothing store that's near you. And once you're there, you will need to exit the vehicle and pull up your phone, go over to the jobs list, and you must quit the jobs through the jobs list like I did. Now, it should be loading you into the last session you were in once again. Now, once you do load into the last session you were in, go over to the clothing store. This part's very important once again. Go over to the saved outfits and make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number 18. Then afterwards, you will need to delete saved outfits checkerboard 1 and checkerboard 2. So make sure you, do, you delete both of those, okay? Delete checkerboard one and two. Then afterwards, all you want to do is open up your interaction menu, go over to hide options, go over to jobs, and make sure you put it on all. So make sure all the jobs pop up on your map. Then you will need to go over to the interaction menu once again, and you will need to register as CEO. Then afterwards, 
you will need to stand in front of the clothing store where this blue marker is in front of the clothing store, which is right here in front of the map. Now, register as CEO, go over to Secure Reserve, go over to Management, go over to Style, and you must put the CEO style underneath El Jefe. Once you put the CEO style underneath El Jefe, all you want to do is launch the mission that you're standing in, which is the race, okay? So, once you do launch the mission, you will be loading into a job menu like this. And if an alert pops up that you want to launch the mission by yourself, just launch it. Just do this solo, okay? So, once you do load into the second job menu after you do launch it, go over to continue. And you should be loading into a third job menu like this. Now wait about 5 to 6 seconds right here. And make sure you quit out the job after waiting 5 to 6 seconds. Then afterwards, it will be launching you into the last session you were in after you quit out the mission like this. Now make sure you do load into the last session you're in. And once you do load in to the last session you're in, run quickly inside of the clothing store, go over to the top section, wait about 5 to 6 seconds, and you should be getting kicked from the top section, and you should have the CEO vest like this. Now, make sure you open up your interaction menu and unregister as CEO like I did. Now, head over to the accessories afterwards. Go over to the gloves and purchase the black wool gloves. These right here. So purchase the black wool gloves. Now back out from the accessories. Open up your pause menu. And once again, you will need to start up the job called Crooked Cop for the last time. Now, once you do launch it, accept the alert. You should be loading into the job menu like this once again. Go over to the clothing. Put it on player owned once again and invite at least one person to help you out. Now you will be loading into the second job menu after you do launch it after they do join. Go over to the owned outfits and make sure you click two to the right. Okay. Now launch the mission. You'll be loading into the job mission like this. And once again equip a earpiece on through your interaction menu like I did. Now get in any of these vehicles, then head over to the clothing store. Now get out of the vehicle, walk in front of the clothing store. You will need to pull up your phone and you must quit the jobs through the jobs list like I did. And now you should be loading into the last session you're in. And now you should have this cool modded black jogger tryhard outfit. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, slap that like button, turn on the bell notification as well. And if you have any question about the clothing modded outfit video, comment down below in the comment section. I will try to help you. But yeah, guys, hopefully I did enjoy the video. Catch you on the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.